your people, bro, don't see people like you every day. You don't, it's, it's, it's not a little piece in you that's like, bro, it's my, it's almost my duty to help somebody not every go. Every fucking day, Jay. So why not reach out to somebody Listen. like that? Listen, man, that girl, man, I just, man, this is what she want right now, yo. I, I Every day, this girl is in a blog every day for something negative and people judging her like that. Yo, look, that girl don't even read comments. Mm. She, that's one thing I love about her. Sometimes I, I've just gotten to the point where I can ignore comments and not go through them. That girl, you will never see her come. Oh, shit. <laughs> never. She's Beyonce to the Because she know what she going to do at the end of the day. Okay. She know she's not. So I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I had a hard life coming up. And I got all these talents and gifts. But I'm living my life right now. Mm. I lost a two for this. Let this. But I got this. Ted. Yo. Look. She ain't had nobody love her like that. So she think that's love. That's not f***ing love, Krishan. That's, that's not love. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. That's like, oh my God. That Yo, is that's so a great funny. Car. What kind of car you got? You don't have a car. Uh, okay. What? Wait, that's what he for? Yeah. This guy, get somebody, security. <laughs> we got some, like, what? No, we not about to Jay. have. No, bro. You just, no, oh bro. Oh my God. No. We okay. don't want your fucking, he got to get the fuck. Yo, no, bro. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We going to say that. Bro, we, no. no, we don't have security enough. No, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm so... no, just I drive. Just Yes. I love you. I love you, too. For real, though. You know I do. Like, I'm not joking, though. No, I'm not joking. I fuck okay. with you. Like, I really, like, I, like, you, I still look at you as a star. I don't give a fuck how much I know you. I respect yeah. you. I respect the grind. I love that. Nah, for real, though. I love that. For but just. Bro, come on, bro. What? We gotta talk, bro. Okay, what? What's that? You gotta, you gotta get your, get your, get your dogs off me, bro. Tell it, just give them the okay, out. bro. Okay, just chill. Come on, man. All right, he gonna like, say no better. to every question. It's gonna kill a vibe. No, don't answer that. <laughs> no, no, no. We joke. All right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I drive. I drive with one of my cars. <sighs> I have a G wagon. Yup, and it's in the shop right now. I'm getting it all fucking. I'm getting it redone because you know they about to stop selling them. Don't oh. tell us the color, boy. G wagon. Uh, matte charcoal. Don't tell us the I'm color. I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Matte charcoal with deep, like bloody red. Like, oh my god, like detail. Um, my wheels. They're gonna be dip glossy black. They had to make my paint. AMG Mercedes. That's yeah. a different they had type to of make my shit. I ain't want to go online and get something that can be picked. No, mix this, mix that. I want that shit like that. Yo, what's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Uh, man. Oh my God. <laughs> this episode is super, super special. Um, we, we had a conversation before, but I wanted to do it again. I started catching steam, and I'm like, bro, I want to get a superstar. I'm doing superstars, but like, I want to go back home and get a superstar. Mm -hmm. Jess Hilarious is in the building. Make some noise for Jess Hilarious, man. Y'all clap it up, man. Come on, make some noise. Make some, make some fucking noise. God damn. I gotta Thank ask y'all so niggas much. 10 times. Hey, yo. Is they okay? I'm they sorry. Okay. Maybe I had too okay. much to drink. No, it's all good. You ain't drink nothing yet. You're bluffing ass. Facts. I ain't drink shit. Ain't drink nothing. Yo, Jess. Yes. I'm gonna make, like, I don't give a fuck how lit I get. I'm always gonna show niggas love. And mm -hmm. I'm never gonna overlook the people I talk to. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how yeah. many celebrities I talk to. Mm -hmm. That's just who I am. I love that. Yo, you are a fucking superstar. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Do you feel like and it? You've seen it happen. But do you feel like it? I do. I, I feel like it. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Not all the time. Because 
it's just so surreal. It's not like, it's like, yo, sometimes I wake up, I'll be like, damn, I just want to go in the hood, get a chicken box. But who I am, I can't do that all the time. I just can't go in any hood. And I don't know, sometimes I want to be regular, yo. Um, because right now, being a celebrity is not as fun as it was when I grew up and when I when I was growing up and wanted to be one. That shit is not, yo, it is not as fun. It's very beneficial. Mm. It's it's the success and the, the finance that come along with it. And, and even, you know, just being able to buy whatever I want, go wherever I want, the, the, the leisure, the freedom is great, but it's like, you you still ain't that free. Mm. You still not that free. Celebrities, it's like, man, that shit is so different now. But I, I do try to make it as positive as it can be, you know, but we, you, know, you know, we got cancel culture. We got everybody, any fucking feelings about certain things. We got so much shit. So yeah, sometimes, I be I, I love the superstar word, but sometimes mm. this is going to be one of the best interviews I've ever had. I'm gonna tell you why. Why? Because you're so vulnerable. You don't mind being vulnerable, mm -mm. and like even starting off. Like shout out to Alex, my producer's here. Yeah. And I told him I had a, um, a question I wanted to ask you, and you kind of just walked us in there, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, Yo, I wonder how hard they always say it's harder on the other side, right? Yeah. But you really don't understand it because until you get on the other side. Absolutely. And now you're, you, you're a celebrity. Yep. You're lit. And I was wondering, like, is it harder to make the content now that you're on that side than when you was coming up? Mm -hmm. mm. It is. When I first started, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't care. I, I was hungry. I just knew I'm going to stand out. I'm going to be somebody. I'm not going to be working at McDonald's. Or not that anything is wrong with that, that you know, but... I, I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. Like, and I even got to be a manager. I just was like, oh, no, this can't be it, man. Like, I have a voice. I have, like, I'm so creative. I'm talented. I'm I'm this, I'm that. I'm so many things. And and I don't limit myself. I'm great at comedy. I'm great at acting. I'm great at dancing. I can even sing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I have so much you to offer. Too. I, can, I You know, I rap a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can write. I can do that. I can do a lot of things. And I knew that that would be my meal ticket. I'm my own fucking meal ticket. And, and me knowing that, I just had to find what that looked like. I had to find the birth of that. Like, mm -hmm. all right, what can I do? What the fuck can I do? I'm tired of getting in trouble. I'm tired of getting fired from jobs and shit. It wasn't until Instagram came out, videos was 15 seconds. I'm like, shit, I'm going to make motherfuckers laugh. 15 seconds is all we got. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. And from the first day some shit went viral, I never stopped. I never stopped. But it is so hard being on this side of it mm. now and trying to make the same type of content that I was making when I was still living in the hood, when, when people thought shit that they went through was funny instead of being – uh, Talk about frowned it. Frowned upon. Now it's like, yo, I, I, I was there. So why the fuck can't I make fun of that? And why the fuck we gotta sit and cry about this shit? Why we can't make it funny? Why we can't laugh at our fucking pain? Why we can't do that? Why the fuck we gonna go hide in the corner and want to cry and want to cancel niggas that's making fun of you? Like what the fuck? Let's talk about the art, the, the art of comedy, right? Mm -hmm. And how hip, <laughs> how much of a hypocrite we are. Just even yeah. as black people. Let's paint a picture, right? Yep. Hundreds of years ago, we were enslaved as people, right? Mm -hmm. And they would call us niggers to degrade us. Yeah. Fast forward hundreds of years, we use this, this word nigger as a word of endearment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it came from something so hurtful, so, so painful. Mm -hmm. But now we, we use it as endearment. We use it amongst each other. Yeah. But the moment we try to have a piece of art to reflect on where we came from mm -hmm. or to make fun of things that we go through every day, mm -hmm. we want to cancel somebody. Yeah. If that ain't fucking hypocrisy, I don't know what ain't it is. Ain't it crazy? I'm talking about even down to the word bitch. Remember when a guy would say that to a woman, it's like, oh, we oh, just hell throw a rock in your face. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about you just got smacked and they call you a bitch. Like, we we refer to each other as bitches. We can say it on TV now. Yup. Yeah. Bitch, please. Bitch, bitch, let me tell you. Like, even, listen, even how I've watched 
a girl get mad that her boyfriend called her a bitch, but her gay best friend, bitch, what the fuck is the difference? Because he's gay, so he's your home girl. No, he's still your home boy. It's just that his sexual preference is of the same sex. Like, no. You stay, if you ain't going to take it off your nigga, don't take it off him. Mm. And if you're going to let your homeboy call you a bitch, whether he gay or not, let's just scratch that. If you're going to let certain people call, it's cool for everybody to call you a bitch. Yeah. Like, it, all of that, the nigga, the bitch, and it's like, we say bitch to each other like we saying sis. It, it's crazy. Yeah. And the whole, like, the nigga thing, we get so angry, so angry when even white people rap listen we was me and my brother was just in where the fuck were we um detroit we had a show i had a show in detroit and it was a, a booze cruise like these all these white people they was and they they loved the song i put the new fudgies mm -hmm. on the jeep and then because all my rich. niggas got it out the streets so my brother was listening they love the song they all drunk and my brother was listening for that nigga right and i'm like no, nah, they ain't say it. They didn't. They really stopped. They, because I'm a got it out the streets. But he was like, no, nah, he said it. They said it. But my thing is, if he would have said it, if they if they all would have said it, how the fuck we get mad? You know what I mean? Um, just because they singing a song. I'm not saying that makes it okay, but. Let's talk about it. Listen, let's talk about I, this I think, shit. So I, I do, so. He's singing the song. We, it, It's crazy. You, you, right, right. But it's like, in that sense, I think, mm -hmm. because you aren't a part of the community, mm -hmm. you can't insert yourself in the community. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I don't think you have, you, you, you wasn't, your people wasn't the ones that had to suffer from this word. So you shouldn't be a part of our secret society. Got you. But same with the com the the comedy though. I just feel like it should be some type of layer. If we if we're gonna, we know, but that's see that's why it's hard at because a lot of people don't know your your whole story. Yeah. But it's here though. If they do their homework, it's here. Mm -hmm. You talked about it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you if you see somebody, they, somebody has come from a certain engineer, right? They came mm -hmm. from a certain place. They should be able to talk about certain things because they came from it. Yeah. Same with black people. Like some people say, let's eliminate it. I think we should eliminate it. But if we're gonna use it, it should just be in our community because. We are embracing each other. If You're that talking makes about sense. the word nigga? Yeah. Yeah. So my thing with that is if it came from our opposers, if it came from motherfuckers who hated us mm -hmm. and used it to belittle us, and how why the fuck do we even say it? Why? Why yeah, do we say that? We, they ain't walking around talking about hey cracker. They actually never even gave a fuck about that word. To be honest with you, like I I've been racially profiled. I've been into like little beefs with like white people, and I'll say cracker, and they just be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't hurt them. They not going around saying that shit to each other. Why the fuck are we so comfortable with saying nigga? When it used to be to strike us, mm. you know, when it when it was used as an insult, why the fuck do we do that? Like, we might as well call each other monkeys. Yo, that's my monkey, yo. That's my not. That's my nigga. That's what you saying. I mean, you know, it's crazy because aren't we now? I hear a lot of people saying. I ain't no motherfucking monkey. I hear a lot of niggas re refer. Let me not say the word. I hear a lot of people referencing each other as apes. We put the eight oh, shit. Uh, emoji when when we going ham or something. Put the you I mean we see Tank doing it. We seen Casanova doing it. You know what I'm saying? We we putting the ape in there. So it's is that's a great conversation because I have yeah. I don't even know where that came from. Yeah. What I will say, I think what happens is, sheesh. Let's let's talk, right? Let's you talk. Want, yeah, let's talk. Let's yeah. Let's drink this fucking gin since I ain't got no Casamigos. I'm sorry, I apologize. Don't don't it's put me good. on blast like that. Like, no, right, they sorry. they I mean they you know they, this nigga put me on to some gin. I can't believe it, and it's actually good. I'm not gonna hold him. I'm not. I tried not to like it on purpose because I I just don't do gin. I ain't 57, but this is some good shit. This hey, is some good. Where's shit. Where's Khalifa? I mean, you might want to post that. I mean, oh, saying. this is his shit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. See, she ain't even know, it, so she meant it. I did. Oh yeah, I meant it. Oh, if that shit was nasty, I'd be like, "We is go back to the motherfucking chemist." 
or some shit. This shit ain't good, but this is great. This is actually good. I it's like pretty it. good. But yeah. um, so. I think people like us, right? Just being honest. With, people don't see enough of us putting our foot down. No. And I'm going to hold myself accountable as well. Like, I, yeah. I use the word nigga, um, yeah. and I use it frequently. So what happens is when you see people, like, we don't know where it came from. Like you said, we don't know. Yeah. But we indulged in this word, so it makes all the people who follow our movement and look up to us yeah. continue to use it, right? Yeah. If we created a new normal, right, mm -hmm. then the people who follow us, it might not be everybody, mm -hmm. but it, it'll be some, and then they will pass it down. It'd be some more. Exactly. Until the word completely fades out. So are you going to stop saying it? Absolutely. I can say I will, but I know I won't because it's just, yo, it's just, and we've been doing it for so long. We've been doing it for so yo, long. Yo, yo, <laughs> every other fucking word on stage is nigga, nigga, nigga for me. And I, I swear to God, I even got a joke. Like, I, I got nigga jokes, like, you know, all of that. Like, it, I, I don't know. Now, I don't say nigger with the hard ER, but nigga, it's all, it's the same shit. It's hard. I, th I mean, I think it's, it's hard. It's the same shit. The fact nigga is it the is same shit. It is very hard to stop saying nigga. My mom never says it. This is terrible. Never. Like, we are bad. Like, this is fucking terrible. And I terrible. don't even know how, it doesn't exist in her fucking vocabulary, but my mom never said, she never say it. So let's go back to cancel culture, right? Yep. Do you find yourself intentionally taking out content mm -hmm. or removing content, mm -hmm. editing your content to fit uh, a certain image so you won't be, not an image, that's a bad mm -hmm. word, mm -hmm. but doing things intentionally so you won't get canceled? Do you see yourself? Um, see, it's yes and no. Honestly, all right, so I was the first... And this is nothing to be proud about, but I started the the cancel train shit. You got canceled mad times. Listen, and I was the first social media star to be canceled. Look at you now. God did. God did. I, I've been so resilient through everything. And that that's one thing about it. Like, okay, so I trailblazed the cancel shit. And it used to matter mm. back then. You know, and the reason why I'm saying that is because Back when I first got canceled, motherfuckers really stopped. They would unfollow you. They unfollowed me. They, I would get death threats. I would get, like, so much, like, it bad. Like, they would, I would have a show at, a, I remember having a show at a casino, and somebody called and threatened to bomb the show, and they had to stop selling tickets. They even thought they had to cancel the show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's when cancellation was real. Nowadays, you get canceled, you get more clout getting canceled than any fucking thing. I'm trying to look for ways to get canceled. You trying to get canceled? What Let's the get fuck canceled. I gotta say? I, any, you can get canceled with any... Listen. Let's get canceled right I now. I can go online and be like, yo, Lizzo fat as a bitch. I'm canceled. For telling the truth. And they're gonna poke... Oh, I like that. For tell, That's the fucking truth. Yeah, we fucking wanna get canceled for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like yeah. that. Listen. Yeah. I, 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 I really, really, really fucking stop. I actually got canceled behind her one time. Look, it was a fucking comment. Um, Hollywood Unlocked posted her, and she, you know, she's sitting there, you know, looking. You know, she was beautiful or whatever, but this nigga had commented and was like, I would love for her to sit on my face. And I was like, damn, that'll be the last breath you take. And she didn't like that. She was like, oh, my God, dot, 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 wow. And I'm like, if she had never commented, it would have never gotten me canceled, but she knew what she was doing. I'm like, bitch, you know if she you, wanted you to draw sat attention on to a it. nigga face. That's the truth. You know if you sat on a nigga face, and it was a little nigga. I went to his profile. If you sat on his face, that would be the let. I could have said, bitch, I could have said so many other things. That would be the last breath you take. she break your neck. It could have been anything. You wouldn't <laughs> even have a face no more. But I got canceled because of that. Also, you have to realize I'm a fucking comedian. Ain't no fucking limit. It's no limit. It's no fucking limit. Like, I still don't agree when Will smacked Chris. It's no fucking limit. You don't agree. I don't agree that he smacked that nigga. You crazy? Because it was a, smack him Because for? it was a joke? It was a fucking joke that he didn't even write. Mm. And it was a fucking corny ass joke, too. He got smacked for a corny ass joke. He could have said, and, listen. What you would have said if you was in that place? Oh, my God. Uh, I know you got one in the tuck. Nigga, I have so many fucking jokes for every fucking body, even for myself. I'd have said something about how high her cheekbones is. What? You gonna walk up here and smack me? 
Like, no, it's comedy. I'm glad Bernie Mac is ain't and get the, the host, the motherfucking the goat. Listen, the goat. I ain't scared of none of y'all motherfuckers. The goat. That's just what it is. Like you lucky fucking Martin in the nineties. Martin wasn't hosting. You lucky this nigga said, "See you in the next GI Jane." You fucking ball head, bitch. What the fuck you thought? You sitting in the front. Will thought that shit was funny. He was like, <laughs> looked over. Oh shit, let me do something. <laughs> the fuck? It was funny. It was. I think. I don't know. I think the. The fuck. I think the whole movement was. I think the whole thing together was a movement. Because if 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 he would have said that and got no response, it probably went over everybody's head. But the response and it just everything just made it great. Like I mean, I'm that's the so smack ignorant. made it great. Yeah, both like it just made it great. Like why? I mean, what? Okay, why? Why did it? What was great about smack? Bro, that's the first time we ever. First of all, it's Will Smith. Okay. Right. Okay. So usually when you think about Will Smith, we think about like cut, clean, just you know, like professional. Always, yeah. Always, yep, never, right? Ever, never seen him unprofessional. Right. right? We always think about this. Yep. You know, goody two shoes. Yeah. To see him. Humanistic. To smack the shit out somebody yeah. on live TV. Yeah. Is fucking crazy. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. They don't get no more entertaining than that. I got you. And then, what I don't like is, because I'm a host of MC, mm -hmm. what the fuck was the security? That's wild. I would have sued the shit out of them niggas. And that's what he's doing. Fuck them niggas. You notice he didn't even sue Will. He like, all right, cool. But I'm your host. Y'all let this nigga walk up. And that was a long ass runway. So you seen how long it took him to get up there? Bro, that shit was crazy. All right, back back to the castle. Right, back, back, right, back, 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 back. Right. Let's, let's get back on. <laughs> so you don't feel like is you don't feel like it's a cap to your creativity because of cancel culture at all. You feel like you're still as creative as you will ever be. Oh fuck yeah, I'm definitely creative. It's shit that it's nobody can do this shit like I'm doing it, and nobody can ever ever emulate. Nobody can ever be Jess. Um, my thing is, you see it more on stage now okay. versus the fucking internet because the only thing is I have two problems with the internet why I don't do as much content as I used to um I don't do I don't do it online as much because that that's now that that gives some people won't even fucking work blackballed is a real thing being blackballed is a real thing a lot of motherfuckers will listen I made a joke about a nigga cheating on his wife and I got a deal snatched away from me. Yeah. Nigga, I'm just with the mess. That's what you want on your network. Until but they don't want it no more. Until I talk about you. Mm. I'm funny till I talk about you. You want me to talk about other people. You you love the fact that I, I could even talk about your, your, your cousin or one of your best friends, but the moment I talk about you, and we have a deal on the table. Now, that shit is snatched off mm. just because of something that you did that I made fun of. But this is why you wanted me on your platform, on your network. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a real thing. So but, uh, so we got that, that reason. Okay, and that's and one. another reason, it's so fucking hard to... Share the internet with motherfuckers who are just not original no more. You got so many people out here doing news. You got so many motherfuckers doing thoughts, thought skits. I, I, I don't give a fuck. I started that shit online. The first time I ever seen it was Chris Rock did it on Everybody Hates the Beat. Everybody, Everybody hates, hates Chris. Chris. When he, he, he narrates mm -hmm. the thoughts for Chris, mm -hmm. you know, his, his young self. Mm -hmm. But I started that shit online emulating everyday situations, you know? You got so many motherfuckers doing that now. Everybody gets famous off of stealing shit. Mm. So that's another reason why I'm like, nah, I'm gonna make my shit into movies. I'm gonna make my shit, I'm gonna, and that's what I'm doing now. I have production team, I have so much shit. I'm gonna create shows. I'm not, I'm not giving y'all this shit for free mm. so y'all can copy it. So that's two reasons, you know. It's just, man, they they don't really look at us as like serious actors and shit. They never see a transition, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's so many motherfucking gatekeepers and key holders 
or what have you that will not work with you if you do certain content and shit like that. They try to hold you back from doing certain things. We can't, but we can't ignore the, like, you know, the world is like a revolving door, Mm -hmm. right? Every, like, it's nothing new under the sun almost, right? So it's like, that would happen regardless, but do you think it's just a growth in your, your career? Cause I, cause now that you said it, it makes sense. I don't Mm -hmm. see Kevin Hart doing a lot on Instagram. Like all of the, Mm -hmm. the comedians that's, you know, made it, for lack of better words, we don't see them doing that anymore. They keep nope. all of that stuff like no nope. to movies. You won't even fucking know that Kevin Hart. Is, you you would think, and people think, because they don't see you on the internet as much as they used to. Oh, she fell she off. She fell off, and then you see a movie premiere. Yo, hold up. Before you know what I'm can we get the bottles, bro? Because we're gonna talk. We yeah. Thank you, Jess. Can we get the bottles? Yeah. I got something for you. Uh, get her one. Uh, she get her own. I didn't shit. say I wanted a bottle with this fucking. Gin. No, it's not. I like it. Nah. Oh, you thought we was about to bring a bottle with the ice with the gin? I was gonna say, come on. That's crazy, bro. What else we got? That's crazy. I was just nah, bro. We gonna gonna just see what I'm saying. Like we popping bottles for you, shorty. Like you popped it? No, can we? Come, come. We can pop it. My team is yo. I love y'all, but they is wild. They treat me bad right here. They, they, they know we got. And you Jess talk. Like, and you talk about my motherfucking twin, but your people fucking yeah, yeah. up. My bad. I apologize. Like, bro, mm-hmm. come on. Pop the y'all, goddamn y'all, bottle for her, man. Like, y'all doing them wrong, man. That's crazy, man. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? But yeah, uh, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, Let's go into it. Let's get it. Just let it That's go. That's my Let's favorite start. motherfucking sound. Yeah, just, just, just break. Come boom, on, man. Boom, boom, bam. Give it a, yeah, yeah. Give it to her. Give it to her, man. And that's my favorite motherfucking sound. Thank you. Thank I you. like that shit. Thank you. Popping bottles for, for Jess. Bye. I appreciate you, dog. Uh, I so got to get my you. goddamn. I had another cup for you. It's all good. Can we get two more cups, please? I like this shit. Yeah, I got you, this dog. Is... Come on, man. Oh, this is my shit, too. Come on. Okay. All Come right. On, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you, Jay. I'm fucking with you, Jay. Come on, man. We really outside. Yeah, no, I, I like this. I, I should have brought the hookah for you. You know what? Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, y'all. I, I got my hookah pen, but I ain't know if I can hit it. Man, do your thing, man. Listen, let me outside. tell you. Look, and he flew in for a real nigga. You feel me? No cap. Listen, because I was in Atlanta. For a minute, but I was filming. I was like, like I got to do Jay shit. Yo, you really flew back home for me. What, you thought it was a game? I, I know it ain't no game, but Come look, on, you busy bro. too, nigga. Come on, bro. You busy too. We Come all right, busy. Bro. We all young black creators. We all young black leaders. We fucking busy, nigga. You was going into something before I rudely cut you off. Uh, it's all right. You keep doing that. Um, What was it? <laughs> I'm joking. What the fuck was we talking you got about? It. You can cut my ass. It's cool. Fuck it. I ain't scared of you either. I ain't scared of y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> but go ahead. It was something I was fucking saying. What the fuck was we saying? Damn. Somebody remember? No? Fuck it. Um, so you 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 really don't. It's not the limitation of being scared to be canceled is why. That's not why you don't Scared do to be canceled? Yeah, that's not fuck why. Fuck no. Fuck no. Cancellation, like I said, is different. Now, I be trying to think of ways to get canceled. Nah, facts. You know? Because they like, post you shit. more. They, they post you more and you get more clout. All for being canceled. And listen, I also want to touch on the clout where motherfuckers think when you hear clout, it's bad. It's like, oh, you want clout? Yeah, why not? Bitch, we all want clout. What the fuck you talking about? Listen, I'm going to even take it as far as the fucking president of the United fucking States. Mm. All right? Let's talk about this Get in your bag. Listen, everybody want clout. Everybody benefits off fucking clout. I don't care what nobody say. Look, it don't matter what level, what status you at. We all want clout. Look, I'm going to tell you. You interview guests for fucking clout, right? Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, let's just be honest. Yeah. Say if you didn't. What the fuck? What, what are we doing? What, what are we doing? You do this shit to be great. You do this shit to have the number one fucking podcast. Ain't nobody but what the fuck? Who the fuck you going to go back? What, you going to go up Park Heights and get little boo-boo and shit from fucking... And interview him. No, you do this shit for a reason. That's not fair. We know somebody named Boo Boo. Nah, I do too. I do too. But he, yeah, he, he from over east and shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, it's like, who the fuck, what the fuck we going to do? You know what I'm saying? Me. I make just with the mess for clout. Motherfuckers like, it, it don't, I roast, I used to roast motherfuckers for clout. You know what I mean? President of the United States used Cardi B. I don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck about shorty. He used her to get the, the gain the vote of the black people. That's clout. Clout is personal benefit. It's personal gain. We all looking to gain some shit. And guess what we get from clout? If you're smart. Yo, what's poppin'? 
This episode is sponsored by BK Juices. Look, man, if you're looking for some drinks that's refreshing and that's also healthy, make sure you check out BK Juices. You can find them online at bkjuices.com. A social media, Instagram is the real BK Juices, and Facebook is BK Juices. If you want 10% off, all you got to do is go online at bkjuices.com, enter the promo code JHill10. You get 10% off. Like I said, if you're looking for something that tastes good, that's refreshing, and that's also healthy for you, check out my people at bkjuices.com. That's BK Juices. Success. Money. Exposure. Money. It, it, it's a list. It's not just one thing. So what the fuck are we talking about? Beyonce, last album, clout. So, House music. She's doing, she made the, she made the last album to gain the, 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 the likeness of, you know, we got the drag queens, we got the LGBT, that shit, they love that fucking album. I love the fucking album. But you know what I'm saying? That's to to, to give them something that's that's clout. She wants to gain the clout of everyone. That's how you stay great. That's true. These rappers turn that shit into a bad word. These rappers that do anything for clout. Migo Shaw do too. Offset, you do too. Everybody does shit for clout. It is what it is. So what I would say, you right, you right. Yeah. But what I would say, I don't think it's the clout piece because I think you are. I do this for recognition. That's AKA clout. So I get it. Same thing. I w- if just being real, I get it. Yep. But what I'm saying, I think it's the line that you draw. What mm-hmm. happened is to do anything for clout. That's the piece. That do anything. That's the piece because yeah. niggas literally do anything do for anything. clout. Yep. And if I may, right? Because yep. I, I just can I vent for a second. Just do it, niggas. Who do shit for oh, clout? Did you just say niggers? Say no. <laughs> Go ahead. Fuck it. Niggers. Me. Sorry. Sorry. First Go of ahead. all, you hear the fucking uh, sirens in the background. <laughs> Nigga, you it. you home. I love it. I love Nigga, it. You back home. Facts. <laughs> Yo, the fact that I was talking to my homie Seven. Shout out to Seven. I was talking to him, and I was like, "Yo, people are weird. Like niggas will really like cross you for clout. Yeah. Right. Like yes. Like niggas have no fucking loyalty at all. Nope." If a nigga will cross you for clout, mm-hmm. I'm convinced that a nigga is gay. Because if a you. nigga will cross you. you for clout, he would do, he would suck a nigga dick to get some money. Yeah. I don't make, that doesn't make yeah. sense to and me. And I know a couple straight niggas that'll suck some dick for some clout. And you know, it is what it is. Sometimes that's just what it comes down to. And you know, it's, this this is in the hood, in the industry. This is everywhere. It's, it, these niggas are everywhere. I ain't used to it. You know, I I I, I ain't used to it either. But I'm I mean, used to it now because I've like, seen years it. In. I've seen it. That shit is crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, the they, secrets here, but I've seen it. I said, damn, you straight, and you can go home like that. But yo, so do you ever like funny when they mm-hmm. don't see you on Instagram? You made a uh, great point. When they don't see you on Instagram, they assume you fell off. Yeah. Have you heard that a lot? That I fell off? Mm-hmm. I've never fucking heard that I fell never off. Heard of but that. if I do hear it, I'm not going to be upset. I, that, I'm not going to be upset. It's because I do things per- purposely. Listen, I take hiatus from whatever the fuck because I also don't want to water myself down. Mm. There was a time I was doing, I was dropping two to three funny videos a day. I'm giving y'all too much. I reduced it to one, one a day. That was, that's still too much. Mm. Then I started doing twice a week, still too much. Now, then I started doing once a week, that's still too much. No, I realized also when people don't see you, they miss you. If you got a hold on their ass, some people can't do that. Just hilarious can. They will fucking, I, if I don't do a video for a month, I will have in my DMs and I will have new comments on old videos. Where the fuck you at? We need a Jess with the mess. We need a, a, um, a, a video. We need a skit. We need a, come on, Jess. We, da, 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 da. we don't want to go on YouTube and do that shit. We want to see you here. We, yo, where you at? You, my fans are so loyal and demanding and fucking entitled and spoiled mm. that they look for me. That's the difference between me and most fucking influencers if you don't make a video some motherfuckers they forget about you mm. don't f- fucking forget about you. nobody checking for you no more they be, oh shit all right and they might see one and be like oh shit yeah what the fuck he been doing but no motherfuckers look for me that's the difference mm. it's, it's crazy because no point intended yeah no messy shit i promise hmm. but i feel like that's like we look at people like country wayne and i feel like it's like the 
No messy shit. I'm, I swear. <laughs> I feel like this the total opposite. I feel like he's one of the most consistent when it comes to that. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. So like it's 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 crazy the different takes. Yeah. Because you see somebody like that going every day with it and you're like, yeah. nah, you gotta make people miss you. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you draw that line and when do you make that decision though? How do you know you are able to make that decision? Man, I knew that um a few years ago. Literally. I knew that a few years ago. Yo, I I don't very seldom do you see content from me on Instagram. Um because like I said, yo, I, I maybe I'm different, but I swear your niggas go viral for doing anything. I can go outside, you can go outside right now and trip the right way. It's a trend tomorrow. Mm. It's a trend. Oh, you seen the TikTok the nigga tripped and fell like that, yo? The fuck? What are we doing? How are we getting period uh, period ah? Uh, like how, what the fuck is that? That shit is crazy. Not real shit. What the fuck are we doing? What's the other thing? Um You thought I was feeling you? Yeah, that nigga a munch. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's not even like. And listen, let me tell you, you don't know another word to that song. I don't. Do you? All, no. All you know is that you thought I was feeling you. That nigga a munch. What's a munch? A nigga that like the eat box. I'm a munch. That's that's really what it is. That's me for sure. I'm a munch. Did you find that out? It's just I'm, I mean, you just. That's what I assume. It's that, crazy. I think like that nigga much like he, he pussy. But you know? like you like that, don't you? Yeah. You like that, yeah. I'm definitely a much. See? Shout out to my girl. We got niggas calling themselves much. Oh, you like the, these it. days, like yo, That's Jay crazy. Jay Hill just said, I'm a much. No what cap. nigga? You from fucking Baltimore, nigga. What the fuck we talk about? Wow, that is crazy. My man said. I'm a munch. I'm not like, scared of you, yo, though. I'm not, I don't give a fuck about you or none of these niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk your when shit. When I go home, I eat my girl pussy. That's right, munchy. Give it to me, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, Jake Munch. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, that don't know you feel me. Oh, you my about? God. But that but, song is but, terrible. But that, I mean, the, uh, but that I'm song is saying, terrible, but I mean. But anything. No, and, and I, I, I ain't going to lie. I like the beat. It's catchy, but we know nothing else after that. It's, it's TikTok music. Nobody is even interested into a body of work anymore. Like, Shorty can make that and never make nothing else. For the sake of the audience, though. For the, sake of, for the sake of the audience. Because you said a few years, you learned that a few years ago. Not, yeah, hell not yeah. giving your content away. Yeah. When was that in your career for somebody that's coming up and don't know how to make that decision? Hmm. Not the years, but like, where were you at in, in, in your part of your career? Where I said that? Like, when you, when, you, when you said a few years ago, I realized that I couldn't give people, I, could, I, I couldn't be so accessible. Mm -hmm. At what part of, your career was it? Was it like, all right, I'm I'm doing shows on rail now. I'm mm -hmm. um I'm I'm getting paid this amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. How would somebody equate that with their level of success? One and how to determine that that factor of okay, I'm here in my career. I need to not give people too much. You literally just answered that fucking question for yourself, yo. I did. Literally, when like when I was when I was doing a sitcom and shit. When okay. I did After Death Comedy Jam, um, I I did a I did a substantial amount of shit. To the point where now I got to be in different settings and I got to experience different shit. And I'm like, all right, I can't be out here saying the F word and shit. Okay. Like, I, 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 not fuck. Gay nigga. You know what I mean? I can't be out here oh, saying Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You, you, you missed me with that one. Yo, know. say it. Say it. What are you talking about? No, like you know, what I'm you, saying? we can't say that on but, YouTube like, anyway. So. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't say I, but I say it on stage, and I, I definitely. I, and I only say it in Baltimore on stage. Um, and why? Because that word does not resonate with gay our, people. It's a part of our culture. In Baltimore, like, yo, niggas grew up just saying the shit. And I really found myself. Listen, all right, now I know how to answer your question. I found myself, when I found myself explaining shit mm. is when I realized, like, oh, no. Nah. Nah, this is like nah. I'm 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 too real for this shit, man. I'm on here. I have a phone in my hand. I'm not even making a funny video. I'm explaining that I'm not that I don't hate a community of people because mm. of a word that I fucking said. I'm I'm explaining, but then I had to also think bigger. Like, oh shit, that's just like Eminem saying, "Nigga." Like, yeah, yo, Snoop, you my nigga. No, no, let's lay no, me out. fuck no. That's like, no, listen. That's like Eminem saying about Dr. Dre 
and Snoop Dogg because they the closest fucking people to him. Listen, that's like them saying, yo, like him saying, yo, they, yo, they, these my niggas, man. Listen, that's a, that's he's going to hurt a community of people by saying that and they're going to want to fucking kill him. I don't give a fuck how cool you think you is, white yeah, boy. Yeah, you ain't right. say that shit. Snoop actually said that. He can say it. But he, no, Snoop said that. That's like somewhere online. You can find that. He okay. said that shit. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when I looked at it like that, because everybody not from Baltimore. Okay. Everybody don't understand. How the fuck she get to say that shit like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, this world is bigger than me. So when I noticed that, the world was bigger than Baltimore is when I realized. You had to okay. scale back a little bit. All right, look, this shit will hurt me. Okay. This shit will hurt me. So. And this shit will hurt other people. Damn, that's crazy. That love me. That's crazy. So that's different. So. Yeah. When you think about it like that, you've learned that. Yes. You have that's other when. people online that making the same mistakes do you reach out to these people to say hey you can't do that or you just let them make their mistakes and let them learn on their own like when i see other people like so for instance like a like a let's say you mean when i see somebody like doing some shit that i they they can get canceled for okay um no you know why i don't jump out there and and try to correct motherfuckers or not even like just hit them on the side like yo try to yo look look yo don't do this you know what i'm saying because it's not gonna be good for you shit like that you know why Cause to be honest with you, not even that no not only nobody did that shit for me, mm. um, but Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart and Ricky Smiley and Country Wayne. Only three men. No women, nobody reached out, no I'm talking about even my agents was trying to throw me away, nigga. Like they was like, mm, no, nah, you reckless as fuck. Mm. Like you you too reckless, yo. Like niggas not gonna wanna work with you. When Kevin Hart called me like, yo, don't keep apologizing for shit. Even if you got to take a couple seconds to think about what you do before you do it or whatever. All right, cool. If you do it, you did it. Don't do nothing and then keep apologizing, motherfuckers. Also, don't donate money to motherfuckers to say how sorry you are. Mm. But the motherfuckers are still turning around and not like you, but they going to take your money. Mm. Don't. That was a valuable lesson. Ricky Smiley. Man, look. Where you come from is who you are. Mm. Don't change too much for these motherfucking people. Evolve. Don't fucking change. Just evolve. That's a, that's a lesson. Mm. That's a fucking lesson. Wayne, every step of the way, right there, helped me get through a lot of controversial shit. I was, man, it was motherfuckers that, his, he lost fans being with me because mm. it goes against everything that he represent. That nigga stayed 10 toes down. No, that, that, no, that's my fucking girl. Like, no. He's still in love with me to this day, but it is what it is. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it. that's just, you know what I mean? Like, no, no. Like, people, I don't try to control nobody or nothing that nobody do. I don't even even try to be like, yo, don't do that. I did that. And I, no. Nah. Because all that shit is a joke today. Niggas ain't getting really, really, niggas never really felt the cancellation like I felt it. Man, you be good. Get canceled. Uh, that's my advice. Get canceled. Mm. Bet you'll get some more clout. Get canceled. So even like, when I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about like a sense of mentorship, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's say, for example, shit, this might be crazy. I swear, none of this is for clout. Real conversation. Chris, what's her name? Christian Rock? She from Baltimore. Christian Rock. I Christian definitely Rock. was raised to say something about that. Because I was about to jump in her DM. And tell her, look, yo, what you doing? It ain't it. But to be honest with you, Shorty is young. Shorty is from here. She done seen some shit. She done been through some shit. And nothing that I tell her right now will matter. Because she's in it. Mm. She's getting the most money that she's ever gotten before. She got a nigga... To her that love her, somebody taking care of her, her dream is to be a nigga ride or die bitch. Mm. I can't change her. That's her dream right now. 
Her dream is not even to be what she is, a gymnast, a talented, gifted ass gymnast. This bitch can be an athlete. She can do whatever the fuck she want to do. She chooses to do this shit. Her dream is to be a ride or die bitch. Mm. Let her be that until she realized she's worth more. Until she realized who she really is. She's so young right now, nothing I tell her. She gonna look at what I say. Oh, she hating on me. I wouldn't be surprised if she tell me. Get you a blue face. Bitch, I fuck around. I pray for her. You know, it's... it's, it's Literally. But, like, I get it, but, like... That's it. That's so not fair. Did. Jess, you just said you it's had three men who, who, who stepped up for you, literally, right? Literally. You, you could be... That for somebody else. So I get, I get what you're saying, and it's a shame that some people would look at it as hate. But me just being your friend, I was just having. A, I want to yeah, put yeah, the yeah. notes aside real yeah, quick because I, I want to have a, that. I yeah, want to have a great conversation. Let's talk I feel like it. you, bro. We don't see people like you every day, bro. Yeah. Like, shit, people tell it to me, yeah. and I'm just, yeah. We don't Baltimore. Let's let's yeah. let's, let's let's talk about home for a second. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah I know you bigger than Baltimore, but that's we all we all are. But let's talk. Let's talk. This is still right. So, yeah. Your people, bro, don't see people like you every day. You don't, it's, it's, it's not a little piece in you that's like, bro, it's my, it's almost my duty to help somebody not Every go. fucking day, Jay. So why not reach out to somebody Listen. like that? Listen, man, that girl, man, I just, man, this is what she want right now, yo. I, I Every day. This girl is in the blog every day for something negative and people judging her and shit like that. Yo, look, that girl don't even fucking read comments. Mm. She, that's one thing I love about her. Sometimes I, I've just gotten to the point where I can ignore comments and not go through them. That girl, you will never see her comment. That shit hard. Shit. <laughs> never. She's Beyonce to this shit. Cause she know what she going to do at the end of the day. Okay. She know she's not. Bitch, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I had a hard life coming up, and I got all these talents and gifts, but I'm living my life right now. Mm. I lost a tooth for this nigga. Let this nigga, but I got this nigga Ted. Yo, look, she ain't had nobody love her like that, so she think that's love. That's not fucking love, Krishan. That's, that's not love. Like That shit gets me very emotional. Every day, like you got Natalie Nunn and shit, like out here, they exploiting, sh exploiting shorty. She running up on motherfuckers and fighting every day, and Zeus clown ass motherfuckers making all this money off this bitch. Like I'm putting, I'm not in on man. Listen, listen. Get me a deal with UFC then. If I like to fight, get me a deal here. Y'all got me on this clown ass network. Doing this shit. Playing myself for this nigga. Who literally say I'm not his only bitch. Like, I done beat this nigga mother up. I done beat this nigga sister up. And I'm still not your only one. You got me fucked up. Every day, Jay, yeah. But when you in it, you in that shit. You in it, she, she'll she get it later, yo. I'm telling you, yo. I, so look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be honest with you. Look, I will reach out to her, and I, will, and I will tell you if I get a response and what response it will be. Because mm. she ain't going to break until she ready. She ain't ready right now. It's still fun to her. Still fun to her. That going to jail and y'all motherfuckers got cameras in my fucking face. And y'all really, they, yo, these motherfuckers really act like they care about her and then it's like even this nigga even blue you got your motherfucker man that girl was it that girl make him so much money that's why you love her but she will never be the only one she'll never be the only one she I don't want to fucking be with her he's she's profitable mm. she's his fucking profit and that's what she think love is right now. So she'll see. But I'm going to reach out. I want to reach out every fucking day. I just know she ain't going to hear me. She ain't going to see me. But that right there, I think even you saying that, right? 
shit. Hopefully she see that. Like I could feel the 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 genuine in it, right? I could feel the passion behind it, and I think even if she don't, right? Even if she don't get it, I think it's worth a try, right? I feel like you've been through so much, and shit, only God knows, right? And hopefully we can talk touch on that because Definitely. like these these are the important conversations. Like yeah, we can talk about the mess and all that bullshit, yeah. but it's this, right? Because this is a, a young lady that's that's a human. Right, like we see it and we we laugh and joke off of the shit, but this is real life. And I feel like if you are able to, like, you're je- and that's that's what I'm. This is what I'm saying. Like, you're Jess. Like this, like you ain't just a random chick in Baltimore. Like you're Jess hilarious, bro. You're yeah. fucking, yo. You're like the 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 goat of this shit. No cap. Just being real. I'm gonna give you respect. Your rose forever. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You're the goat to this shit. You don't know how she look at you. If you reached out and be like, yo, you're right. You feel me? And if she can, if she learns just a little bit. That's so far away from where she's at now, right? I think it's it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's worth it. That's yeah. all. Yeah, definitely. It is. And, uh, and see, like, you even just, even you saying that, it urges me to fucking say something to her even more than I've been wanting to say. Like I said, I just, and, and, the, and where it comes from that I feel like she won't hear me, she won't see me, is when... When I first started, I was doing a lot of shit. I got canceled. I was very, I just didn't give a fuck. Motherfuckers would say, like, chill, don't put that shit up there. Yo, nah, that shit ain't, nah, come on, yo. You, this, the, the, the niggas was telling me I was bigger than Baltimore before I even felt it. Mm. I didn't give a fuck what they said, though. I'm like, nah, shit, they gonna fuck with this shit. I'm real. And it, you know. Mm. I didn't care to hear it. So maybe I'm just projecting how I was on her. Because I ain't listen to nobody, nigga. I ain't give, I didn't listen to nobody. I would literally fight beef with anybody. Like, I'm talking about like, man, I'm I'm saying shit. I would say shit that I knew was going to hurt a motherfucker. But just because I knew everybody else was thinking it, but they scared to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. But everything ain't don't have to be said. Mm, and mm, I didn't mm. learn that until later. So I think maybe it was just it's just the fact that I wasn't trying to hear nobody. Maybe I'm projecting that. Mm. And you, that's just real. What do you think you get that from? Because I felt like I suffered from that when I was young too, and I had yeah. to learn that everything you think don't need to be said. Yeah. My, my mom's like some old saying, yep. Kenny Rogers, he's a uh he's I a country Kenny singer. Yeah. She used to always say, you got to know when to hold, know when to fold, know when to, fold. Know when to walk away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because I never understood that until I became a grown man. Mm-hmm. And I used to I used to always be like, bro, now nah, I'm real. Like, that's the one thing they're going to love me for. I'm real. I'm me. Yeah. Like, if I feel some way, I'm going to say it. That's me. That's That was me all day. And it hurts you in the long run. Yeah. <laughs> where do we get that from? Like, where, where did that come from? I have no idea. Yo. I, and then also, I just feel like in Baltimore, just growing up, yo, I don't care what nobody say. You know, we got different cities that they, they um like our city trained us for hard skin, like to have hard skin and to be so hard up. That's why niggas be like, yo, the worst female to fuck with or the worst female, like it's hard to see them soft. It's New York women and Baltimore women. Mm. And um, that's true. I think it's true. No, we got some soft women, We but we have soft sides. It's just that, we weren't really able to show that shit. You got to be hard up. Because niggas will play with you, yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about even in the industry and out. I had niggas playing with me in the hood before the fuck the industry came along and shit. So it's like, all right, cool. I know how to take y'all now because my, my city already trained me to be like this. But really, it's like you have to... You don't have to respond to everything. If you don't let it in, how the fuck? You don't have to ever react to it if you don't let it in. It's like, I don't know. I just, I I, I love and appreciate Baltimore for making me like that, though. Because I, I have a lot of respect from people. I have a lot of respect. Celebrities that you wouldn't even think. Like this man, like, we were just talking about Will Smith. Will Smith actually told me, mm. I love what you do. I love what you do. I watch it just when I'm like, you be hitting motherfuckers hard. I love what you do. Like, you went up Angela Bassett. Mm. Lo- Listen, not playing. 
like people love me and that's why I'm like, yo, why? Like, look at Monique. It's so much bad chatter about her and shit like that. Look what the fuck she came from. Look at Jada Pinkett. Mm. Oh, that bitch, she mean. She don't know, man. She way to pass in our relationship. She look at these women in power. Look at the look at how they like just say, oh, they throw us away because we tough and we hard and we ain't all that submissive. That's the word. We're not, we not submissive first. It's something you got to do to unlock that shit. Yo, we, who know? It's crazy how, like, God created this conversation. Because yeah. this, this is so much more important than, like, all, all that, that other shit. shit. You know, the conversation that we had, we can't ignore that. And I'm going I'm to get into it. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 a, it's a scary, touch, it's a touchy <laughs> subject, but. Touch it. It's not even about just Baltimore and New York women, right? Mm-hmm. We hear this conversation worldwide, and it's yeah. always, it's always geared towards the angry black woman, right? Mm-hmm. And like you said, you gotta like we're not just miss it, but you gotta earn that. Mm-hmm. What does that come from? Like what? Like if if you had to word it right, if I if I'm saying it's it's the angry black woman, but clearly I got something misunderstood. Yeah. What is it about the woman that gives off angry? I guess. If that's the question I want to ask. And that's the thing, That's a crazy man. question. People, um, they mistake anger for independence and, and, and being firm and mm. knowing what we want. Boundaries. Look, look, man, boundaries. Look, man, like men, whether it be a black man, what, mainly black men, because that's mainly who I deal with. You know, I had a couple white boyfriends. They just too soft me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But like... Black men, they, they, sorry, they like a dumb bitch. To be honest with you, man, like niggas like weak women. They can control you that way. They like to put you in a box. They like that. I I have brothers. I have homeboys. I have, I can count on how many fingers, how, how many homegirls I got. So I grew up around niggas. You know what I'm saying? And, and I've seen this and I, I have a dad that I grew up in a house with, married parents, and how submissive my mom was always, never cheated, never. And then I had my dad, he had it made at home, but he was still, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so that's where it come from. I grew up in a house where I've seen nothing but submission from my mother, and the nigga still wasn't happy there. Mm. I'm talking about like breakfast, lunch, dinner, three meals. I'm taking care of these kids, which are ours. I'm talking about like, and a very present father. I've always had my father to this day. Great father. Just not a great husband. Mm. And it's like, and it's like, I could see if it was something that she did to make that bad. Like if she was cheating, if she didn't come to you every, I watch my mother be the breadwinner. I watch everything like, and it's, you know how hard it is to be the breadwinner and submit? Mm. She did it. She did it. She been doing it since before me, since. And I'm like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like my mother. In love, that means, like, with love, like, No. My mother's a fucking angel, bro. L- knows how to treat a woman. My mother taught me how to treat a man. Some things I changed. I'm like, nah. Because you, you, she did great 100%. But he is like, what, what do you, what, did, what was she lacking then? Mm. So that's why I have a problem with submission. Because I grew up seeing it. And not really hardly anything came from it. So how does a man tap into that? If I'm getting everything. If I'm getting everything. What the fuck do I need? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I will never understand. If I And people always bring up. Yo, all right, well, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Anybody can get it. What the fuck you mean? Like, what do you mean? I think it's an intimidation thing. 
Like, it's like, yo, I have to have something to make me feel superior. Like, I have to have, like, that's why, yo, niggas, like, that's why I really feel like a lot of black men, they date these white women, they they, they more submissive. They, they will do anything for you. Like, anything. Don't ask no questions, no nothing. Like, is they they take more than we take and we always deemed angry. It's like, no, nah, we not angry. We motherfucking tired. Yeah. Like shit. Tired of having to do so fucking much to still be like this valued. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. No. So But how does a man so right, so with all of that and it, it, it it's it's crazy because I is it makes me emotional just thinking about it, but mm-hmm. it, and it makes me emotional because it's like it's just constant. It's like a nonstop of pain between men and women. Cause yeah. You feel me? So like, how how do we break that cycle? And how can I tap into God or my man, my 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 ultimate manhood, to make you comfortable enough to be submissive to me and trust me, even though everything you saw. Like, how how do a man get that from you? What what is it that he can do? Jay, honestly. I don't know, and I'm going to tell you why I don't know. I, obviously, I haven't figured it out. You know why? Because I haven't been happy yet in a fucking relationship. Bro, Eva, a nigga is intimidated about what I make. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I was in a relationship with Country Wayne. Yes, I was. Wayne, I still say to this day, that's the best relationship I've ever been in with certain things. Um, we would still beef about how much we make. Cause I, I always, I'm like, yeah, nigga, I make more than you. Like I, I let him be on his house for a while. And, and and Wayne is so competitive. I'm like, okay. And, and for, at first it was cool. It was cute. I'm like, okay, I got a nigga that's like, okay, challenging. All right, cool. We wanted to go on tour together. It was going to be called best of both worlds. You know, he's a clean comic. I'm dirty. I'm raw. I'm, I'm Baltimore. I'm he's church. He's, Bill Cosby, well, before the charges, you know? I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm old Monique, Bertie Mac, every harsh, commi- Richard Pryor, Richard I, Pry- I don't yeah, say anything. Say, yeah. This nigga was like, all right, we can co-headline a tour. You do, you, do, you headline, I headline. I'm like, okay, cool. He like, but I gotta get X amount. I'm like, why? He's just like, just for one, I'm the man, and, and then two is you're my woman. No, that's not what we're doing. Because you see, I sell out shows. I put asses in seats. I could, if, if, I could see if I was just starting out. I could see if I wasn't Jess. I'm Jess. Shows that you don't sell out, I sell out. And he sells out. But... What the fuck are we talking about? We gonna do 50-50 or it ain't nothing. He couldn't deal with that. Mm. No. And also this nigga was like, yo, and I love him to death still, we're still good friends. This nigga was like, he know I say this. He was like, um, well, in a few years, I don't even want you to be touring and doing, I want you to be, you want me to do what? Stay home. And you wanna take care of me. That sounds great to a certain type of female. Mm. I'm a worker. I'm going to always work. I don't even know what the fuck retirement even going to look like because I ain't going to ever do it. Nigga, if I could, I would be a hundred on stage because that's what I love. That's what I want to do. I'd be a hundred on stage talking about myself. Still making motherfuckers laugh. No teeth, all dentures, <laughs> all the nigga. I, I'm going to do it. I'm not, I'm a worker. And I still would love to be a wife. I want to have more kids. I still, I still want, I need, I, this is why I, I need for someone to understand that. Like, it's okay. I, it's okay. It's okay for me to be a successful businesswoman and still be a housewife. I can still do that. I'm not going to ever sit down. Not for no man. I don't give a fuck how much you make. You can make more than me. I'm not going to rely on your money. I have to rely on mine. And maybe I got to get better with that. Man, I, I cannot let nobody take care of me. 
Because then they hold it over your head, Jay. I just, I've been in so many situations where it's like, yo, a nigga will do this for me. After I did this for them. I never throw in your face this, but you gonna throw in my face this? Shut, shut goofy ass out of here. You know, um. I hate that. Nah, it's, it's unfortunate because, you know, I've been in a relationship for five years and like I've seen some of, like my flaws, I had to look in the mirror. And um, it's unfortunate because like we, and that's like, I try to get away from the uh, relationship talk because yeah, all okay. it is nowadays is like a constant blame or who's who's the blame. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. But hearing you talk, mm-hmm. just I'm going to hold accountable for the men. I think it's hard to love somebody else in general when you don't know how to love yourself. Right? I know it sounds cliche, but Mm-mm. I'm unable to love you with you being able to make more than me, be the breadwinner, make all this money, go on the road, not be a housewife. I can't love you because I can't love you to, to the full of capacity of my love because I don't love myself. And what does that look like? I can't accept that, not because I don't want to accept it, because the world don't accept it. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what we hear, we, we see so much. I had to get over this. I'm not going to lie. We hear the conversation of 50-50 rent, right? Mm-hmm. It makes a man feel bad because everybody is talking about it in a negative way. Yeah. So because I don't have the love enough for myself, it's like reading the comments, like you said. Yeah. I just you said I just started to not be able to read the comments because that's just. a love that you have for yourself yeah. to understand. There's no, it's no, it's nothing nobody can say here that's going to change who I am. Mm-hmm. Saying what who we are as people, mm-hmm. I can't love that about you because I see it online that if a woman makes more than me, that I'm less of a man. If I love myself, I understand that. What makes me a man is what I do for my family and how I right. how my how I'm able to love you. Mm-hmm. Because at the at the end of the day, we are different. Yeah. And if what makes you happy, if if something makes you happy, it's supposed to make me happy and it's supposed to make us happy. Yeah. But it's easy. I can say that it's hard. Like it's easier said than done because I'm just like we we humans. Yeah. And we live in this reality. But I do want to. I want to see a point where you can be loved, so you can give somebody your full capacity love. Right. I want to mm-hmm. be able to. Love a woman where yeah. I can untap her full capacity. You can untap my full capacity. But yeah. again, what happens is that trauma, right? The shit that we saw when you was loving somebody, when you was giving. Yeah. And somebody threw it in your face. Did you ever go get did you ever get therapy for that? Or did you think about it? No. And to be honest with you, that's one thing I'm gonna be very open with you about. Yo, like a lot of us try to self counsel <laughs> and i and i've i've done that and um yeah overwork like, yourself it, I've, I've tried to self-counsel and be my own therapist bro look you are the second person man by the way the second black man only the black man asked me this like yo you and his name is marcus black he asked me i don't know if you know him you know him I feel like I heard of him. I'm not sure. He ain't nobody. So, uh, like, no, I'm joking. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. Marcus Black. Uh, but he um he asked me, has I, have I ever had therapy? And I was like, no, nah, what the fuck I need that for? I was a little bit defensive. Mm. You know, and that even speaks a lot. When somebody asks you about, yo, you ain't never ever think about having therapy, and you get defensive as shit. The fuck I look like? No. Nah. Why do we do that? I even felt as I was getting defensive, like, bitch, why are you being defensive? All he asked you was, have you ever had therapy? If you get defensive, there's something wrong with you. Mm. You know what it is. You just, you're scared. And to be honest with you, for a long time, I just didn't want to look crazy. I associated therapy with crazy. I associated that because that's what I've learned. That's what I've seen. That's that's what I've been conditioned to think. And, and that's honestly why a lot of black people don't get therapists. Why, why we and we need it. We need therapy. We don't even realize how fucked up we are. Listen, I'm not perfect at all. I just know what I want. But the thing about it is, there are things that I have to. There are roots of issues that I have to even fucking iron out and get through before I can really, really say I'm ready to fucking be loved. Mm. Not even ready to love. Ready to be loved because like. I still let my past shit fuck with me, you know. Um, it 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 prevents me from moving forward swiftly. Things that relationships 
that I've been in. And then watching homegirls go through shit over here with like PTSD almost. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, I know what to watch out for, but it's like, you know what to watch out for, but you still need help yourself because you never got over when Johnny did this. And, and I'm just speaking, I ain't never dating no nigga named Johnny and shit. No, did I? Yeah, and he took me to Jamaica. But getting over, I'm gonna just use another name, uh, Casey. All right, yeah, getting over. You definitely over, ain't date somebody. Ain't no, yeah, I never dated a Casey. Um, Getting Can over shit that Casey did to me is hard. So let me project this on this person and that person. Yo, when I, I tell you, like, the therapy shit is different. I mm. know I need it. I just, is is me just who I am? I'm like, nah, it, it ain't all me. It ain't all me. That's just all I've been saying to myself. It's not all me. And it's not all me. But it's some of me. But, yo, you... You're in such a unique space, like mm -hmm. successful, a black woman. Yeah. You're the definition. Of, a lot of people I talk to, I tell them like, like you're the definition of check on your strong friend, right? Like we see the show that you got, like you brought families together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you, and, and this is nothing against nobody, but it's like you're yeah. really, you went and got it, mm -hmm. and you came back. Right? Mm -hmm. I tell myself, I pride myself in that. Like, I'm going to go get it. Yes. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to come back. Literally. You are that. Thank you. You went and got it. You came back. You gave it to your family. You gave it to your neighborhood. You gave it to your community. Right? But in that comes so much pressure. That's why the therapy is so important. It's not, fuck the, before we can get to the relationships, you yeah. are so much more than a girlfriend, a mother. Right? And it's, and even that is, I, it is, is, it's definitely something that you should think about because, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm trying to push it on you, but something you think about because, like, just being a mother, like being a, a man to a woman who has a daughter, is so many times where you got to put yourself last. Yo. Right? Mm -hmm. And, like, when I was coming up, my mom's always said, you love God, Jesus, then yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't give love to somebody else. Yeah. And as a man, it's so easy to, to adapt those, adapt that, that, that sing into my adulthood because I don't have to love anybody else before me. I got to love myself. And, and, and granted, it's cliche, but when you're a mother, mm -hmm. it changes a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Right? And it's just like, just, just hearing that before we can even get to a girlfriend. <laughs> before we can even get to that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Before we can even get to boss. Before we can even get to co-host. Yeah. It's like you have so much pressure and it's like, I, I hear it and I really feel it. It's like, damn, man. Like, how, I just, man, I just pray that we can get past, like our woman, our black woman can get past that. Yeah. I understand for sure. I mean, yeah, I can't understand, but I feel, no, you, I empathize. You still get it. Yeah. 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 It's Me crazy. Being a mom, that's like a whole nother situation. Like I love my son so much. Yo, I try to do so much. Like even the show that I'm on, I, you know, like you said, I brought my family together. You know, I had reckless discussions. That is me. Uh, my son's dad, um, which people still don't understand, but yeah, my son's dad, my cousin, and my brother. Um, mm, mm, can we make some noise for that, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> come on, come, bro. Like, come, just like I ain't here to like play with you, man. Yeah, come no, on, I know, dog. I know. Look yeah. at that. That's one thing about it. I, I, um, I have a really great support system. It's times where I can't be there, yo, and it's like, fuck, like no. Fuck, like it's bad. Yo, there's never been anything that my parents missed. Like I did uh, karate, I did boxing, I did modeling, I did tap dancing, I did shit that I just, you know, my nothing that my parents missed. That shit hurts me. My son plays football, right? I'm booked almost every weekend. Mm -hmm. Like, so he plays games on Saturdays, right? That's when I'm working. I cannot, I can't be there and that shit really fucks me up. So I try to at least be able to take them to practice and shit like that. But sometimes I have to film during the week and, you know, and it's just like, yo, that shit is so hard. And when you say, you know, sometimes we have to put ourselves last, yo, 
that is what I be like really, really trying to do. Yo, I will cancel shows. Haven't I like walked away from money and, and cancel shit so I can make this boy's game. And that's my son, like shit like that. Like that's, that's what I'm still really hurting from. That's what I'm still trying to juggle right now. Even being a mom. Like, and I, cause the last thing I want is for him to grow up and be like, yo, she put her career before me. Like, yeah, I mean, I had games. I mean, she put me in football. She paid for everything. I mean, she, she threw me money, but she, you know what I mean? She wasn't there. I don't know my mom. Like, I don't, yo, that is the last thing I want for my son to say. That's the only one I got. Like, you know, right now, that's the only one I, I have. And that could be the only one I have for life just because, you know, but it's just, yo, that, that really be a lot for me. Like, that's my, that's my emotional point. My son, yo, cause he's like a little me. So he, uh, like that, that is kind of hard for me to still juggle being a mom and then being this businesswoman and still having to try to be a celebrity and and all of that shit. I just I just want to be a good mom. I don't want to fail him. I don't want him to be like, man, I don't know, shorty. Like, oh, you got some celebrity kids that hate their parents. You know, I ain't trying to be I, that. I, I I feel like he he's gonna know the love that you have, and yeah. I, um, it's just crazy because like we hear those stories of like, yeah, my parents worked and they got me what I needed, but I ain't had a time. And then yeah, you, but you hear like, bro, like you have no idea what I was doing to put you in a position that I wasn't that I wasn't in. But it's like it's this. That's the that's the frustrating the first frustrating part about life. Mm -hmm. And like I don't know your your, your um your religion or anything. I don't want to um, be disrespectful, but like, that's Christian. why I think God is Go so, so important because same as yours, like the faith we got to have, because like, that's fucked up. It's like, bro, we, we have these as black people, we have these yeah. fucking cycles. That's just unbreakable. It seems mm -hmm. like, cause think about it, right? Mm -hmm. I give you all the time and love in the world. Yeah. I embrace you. I'm, I'm there for you, but you, now you getting teased cause you don't got it right now. You, 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 um, I don't know what's the word you uh you you uh feel really? feel away about about me. Oh yeah. What's the word? Shit. Mm. You resent me. Thank you. You resent me because yes. I wasn't able to give you the money. Now guess what? Yeah. That's a cycle of mm -hmm. that. That's one cycle. Now I work. I go get it. So you don't have to have the the struggles that I had. I don't give you the time. Now you resent me for not giving you the time. It's like yeah. this constant cycle. Yeah. That we can't break out of it's like yo, yo and your kids can make you feel so guilty bro like they can make you just feel so guilty like my son got a homecoming game coming up i got one of my biggest shows on that day and i'm like look i can't make it here but i didn't grow up like you look i was living in the hood emerson Papa grove I, and now listen my parents did everything to make sure i had the best uh childhood that they you know was within their means that they could do like you know what I'm saying they made sure I had everything that I needed if I earned it I wasn't given everything that's just not how we grew up I imagine you weren't either you weren't given shit we had to earn shit and even if they and if and even when we earned it we weren't able to get they weren't our parents weren't able able to give us what we can give our kids now yo you have an estate hmm. now I in own DC. this in DC <laughs> I own this. Like, this is gonna be yo. I just do shit to make him smile because I know I'm, I'm. I I do things to make up for my absence, and sometimes that's not even enough. Like, yo, his football coach be drilling me. Like, yo, I get what you're saying and shit. You can't be here, but he performs better when you're here. Mm. Like, he don't wanna just. Be, no, yo, you got to come. His dad, he loves his dad. He loves his dad. He wants his dad here. His dad's always there. You know what he told me? I wish my mom could. Yo, you don't know. You don't know how bad it be. And it be like, I be getting mad at the coach. Like, nigga, are you fucking dumb? You know what the fuck I do. When he tell you shit like that, why the fuck you don't say shit like, yo, your mom is doing what she got to do to make sure you got everything you need. Mm. And and to me, why the fuck you don't, 
you instead you going to sit there and be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to try to talk to her. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? You know what the fuck I got to do. Like, you know what's going on. Yo, that shit make me so mad. Like, y'all niggas dumb as shit. I wish. <laughs> like, I, I want to be here every fucking time. I want to see you throw a ball. I want to see you get tackled, nigga. I want to see you get upset. He jammed his finger the other day. His father called me like, yo, he wanted me to call you, yo. I told him you was doing And that's why I love my son's father. Mm. I love Rome, yo. That's my nigga, yo. That nigga be like, and he make me mad all the time. I ain't gonna lie, like that's. But he knows to be like, yo, you jammed your finger. You want your mother? No, your mother is working. She trusting that you gonna be like who? Yo, his father will ask him like, who's your favorite football player? Ray Lewis. Even though this nigga don't know nothing about Ray yeah, Lewis, like, he nigga, probably, why the fuck? <laughs> why ain't why ain't Jacoby Jones or somebody right now with Lamar Jackson? This nigga like, cause he watches football, so he he watch old shit too. So he like, oh shit, Ray Lewis. Mm. You know, he like, yo, you think Ray Lewis called his mother mm. when he? My son's so smart. He was like. When Ray Lewis was 10, he probably did look for his mother. I'm like, yo, here we go. Here we go. Yo, that's why I say, yo, I have a genius on my hand. I, I do. He's a manipulator like a motherfucker. He was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure when Ray Lewis was 10, he did look for his mother. Right. I'm like. Like, I'm a child. That's what I'm, I'm a kid. Like, that's what I'm supposed to do. Even my son will get me canceled. Like, mom, remember that time I jammed my finger and, and you gave me this bullshit story about Ray <laughs> Lewis? And it's like, yeah, Ray Lewis, like, fucking 60. I'm 10. I need you. Where are you? Yo. But it's like, yo, I. that's really what I still haven't figured out yet. To be very honest, transparent, and vulnerable with you, Jay, I have not figured out how to be uh like how to be there every time like i'm i'm still juggling how to be a mom and a comedian mm. and an actress and that's the only thing that hurts me a lot only thing that hurts me is just being fearful of him not appreciating what i did but more so saying yo you could have did this you could have canceled that show you could have i i did I did. I I do. I can't do it every time, baby. Mm. I can't go clock in. I can't go and fucking say like I just I can't. But that's why I say God, right, and faith because when we are able to tap into that, it might sound crazy because that's your son, but not even he can make you feel unworthy because you know, right? Mm. Like that's and that's what I mean. Like when you. It's, it's it's weird, man. Like, cause I'm not no preacher, or nothing like that. But no, it's you're not, it's just like when when, when when you tap into that, mm -hmm. not even he can make you feel unworthy because you know where your purpose is. You know what you did, and even if he don't appreciate it, it's still gonna be something. It, it will never be a void in your heart because you know you gave it all you had. Yeah. Right, and you yeah. know you fulfilled your purpose on his life. Yeah. Um. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I feel like sometimes I'm gonna say it. Sometimes I feel mm -hmm. like. I've gotten to a point where it's scary. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna lie. I was thinking the other day, and I never wanted to share this. I was like, I'm so thankful and grateful for where I'm, where I'm at right now. And granted, I want to keep growing, but I'm so grateful that I can call it just like, that's why I say I don't, I don't overlook nobody relationship. I'm yeah. so grateful that even the celebrities that I interview now, mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for that, that I feel like if it all stopped tomorrow, mm -hmm. God gave me something to fulfill my purpose, yeah. and I'm okay with that. Yeah. And you know one thing about you, yo? I just, yo, I love, like, even being who I am, I still need certain things. You know, people, they look and be like, oh, she got this, she got that. She, yo, when I first started my reckless discussions and a lot of people get it mixed up it's not even a podcast and maybe it should be but it's not um i already do have a, a podcast with our heart media and just uh just Lars has carefully reckless but i didn't just want to do audio i was like remember you was like yo you said you was like yo record this shit what and i'm like nah i don't even really want to do the podcast shit between you and charlemagne the god yo 
that's where I seen the vision. He like, yo, you got a voice, like you, and you was like, yo, I help you with whatever you need. Yo, you said that shit to me. Um, last year, I I told y'all, I said that. Sh- I I said, oh, this nigga Jay trying to get me to do this shit. Yo, I ain't. I'm not trying to film this shit. Like I I don't know nothing about no motherfucking radio or nothing like that. And like he was like, yo, whatever you need, fucking hit me. Let me know. And even as big as I was to you. You still didn't say, she got it all figured out. She ain't going to need me. She, I hit you. And I'm like, yo, I need like a film crew. All right, how do I do it? Like, what? you told me what to do, how I should do it. Nigga, you even had a team. You was like, yo, I'm going to send you Joseph. I'm going to send you Gio. I'm going to send you. I, you gave me your fucking people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like. Uh, all right, I don't, yo, I will never fucking forget that shit. And I'm, I didn't switch out. I didn't. At first, remember, I was like, yo, I don't know, yo, this nigga Joseph and shit, yo, this nigga, he, he got a lot of jobs going on, yo, this nigga work for the government. Too. We you both went through that. I'm like, yo, you ain't telling me this nigga wasn't going to be responsive like that, yo. Yeah, but it's like, yo, when he's working, he can't just be on the phone. Yeah. I'm not used to that, but it, you was like, all you kept saying was, look, yo, I, I can help you get somebody else, but yo, these these niggas, man, they know what they doing. Like, they, they is, yeah, I didn't tell you, yeah, he did have an army job, but I did tell you that he's not He's not all he does have another job. I just didn't want to tell you what he did. You know, I you know. And I'm like, all right, cool. I hung in there with him because yo, I loved his approach. He was professional. Mm. Like, yo, that's still my team right now. I don't want nobody. I don't listen, I'm gonna tell you how fucking crazy it is. When I can do, I can go and do a show right now, do my reckless discussions right now. I trust him <laughs> in Geo so much. That the fact is like half the time, I don't even need to check the episodes because it's edited. Like he knows me. He learned me. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that came from you. It's mutual though. I, it, it's, it's mutual, mutual but because. But I do want to give you fucking flowers for that shit. And, and I, I love, I love that you see me for who I am. I love that you see me as a superstar and you, you know what I'm saying? But like, you helped me. My well, appreciate that. Don't be doing it. I think it comes from lack of confidence. Like I said, like bro, I ain't never feel like this in my life, bro. Like mm-hmm. I like I like I've always talked about where I wanted to be, mm-hmm. but it's something about this last year that like I just feel like I'm in my. I just know I'm living my purpose, and yeah. I tell people like even before it's like I can do that because I'm confident in myself. It's no competition. And I mean that respectfully because I can look at Jess and I can I can I can respect what she got, but I know guess what? Right. Jess is here, I'm working to be there, and I can understand it and yeah. I can respect that, right? Yeah. So it's like, all right, look, Jess gonna open the market. Mm-hmm. I really got a team, mm-hmm. but the world don't know that. Nope. Because I'm still working up. Yeah. If I give my team to Jess, we all win. And people just be like, they don't want to relinquish their resources because they're so scared that they're going to lose the opportunity. We just had this, yo, yes. It's like, yo, I said that. I'm like, yo, it's only a few motherfuckers. Like, on one hand, that I can say, yo, you're on one hand Mm. from Baltimore that has ever just still contributed. Like, you ain't saying, man, fuck her, man. She did my show one time. She would be giving me a run around. And it's not even, yo, I be busy as shit. That yo, shit. You're understanding your fucking <laughs> like, I, like I just said, yo, you flew in for this shit. You ain't plan to fucking come here. You didn't. Not that you don't fuck with your city. You just didn't. Play, it was no reason for you to fucking be here other than this. I got into a motherfucking car accident last night. Look, fuck my shit up. I'm like this nigga flying in. I'm still yo. My fucking assistant called me today. She like yo. You still can do the J shit. I said, you said he was flying in, right? She said, yeah, he's flying in. I said, yeah. yeah. I appreciate I'm, I'm you. I'm going to ice my knee. I'm going to put some ice on my face. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do this shit. You know why? Because that nigga, I didn't know what he was going through when I hit him and said, yo, I need a team. You could have been going through anything. I didn't ask. I didn't, you didn't offer up information, whatever. I'm not saying that you were, but you could have been. Like, man, I'm, I'm not, man. I'm not. You helped me. Mm. That's that shit is different. 
And that just speaks volumes to our people. We not all bad to work with. Like we mm. not, yo, everybody still needs somebody. It don't matter your status, your level, your amount of clout that you get. Yo, everybody still needs somebody. And I love, I love that. So I just want to say that shit. But wow, you're not getting you. these niggas back. So oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I talked to that, is. man. Yeah, I, I talked to Yeah, them. yeah they gone. So. No, nah, I mean, because... They with me. I, hey, so, you know, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm almost there. My bag going to be up there, too. I'm, I, I fuck around. You know what I'm saying? We got to be a bidding war, because I'm, I'm coming <laughs> I'm coming hard with the check. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yo, yeah. I, yo, I appreciate you so much, just like, Definitely. yo. Thank you. And I, I love this conversation, because it's funny. Uh, shout out to... Oh, shit. Terrell, can you help me out? Um... The, uh, he like what what nigga the, what the, the painter, fuck I'm sitting over here crying. The artist, talk to me. Yeah, Jamunji. Uh, shout out to the uh, artist uh, Jamunji. He got the great paint. I should have did this in the beginning. I'm sorry. It's just y'all. You, you gotta. You know what I'm saying. No. This shit is okay, hard. Jamunji. So he did all these. He did all this. Uh, Terrell, Revo Mag. Um. Yeah. Where is he from? Terrell. Jamunji. Oh, Jamunji. Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore artist. Shout out to him. You got an Instagram or anything? I'll find it later. So the ass crack is Jumanji. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. The space, if you if you in Baltimore, if you're anywhere, you're looking for a space, you come into Baltimore. Uh you got a name for your space, Terrell? It's called the Atelier Bimo. The Atelier What B is it called? Atelier B more. I like even the way the fuck it sound. Yeah. It just rolled off the top. Look, Atelier is French for what, boo? For what? Works back. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I like. You know, smart. I love how black people is. Look, it's called Atelier. Uh, first it's a workspace. People probably like it's called workspace, nigga. <laughs> so Terrell, you got a work number? But I love it. You got a work number, Terrell? Fuck you. So you gonna let him put his number on here? Yeah. All right, cool. That's you got a work number? Yeah. What is it? Four four three. Four four three. Seven two three. Seventeen forty eight. If you're looking for a space in Baltimore, holla at my guy Terrell. No, yo, you gotta say it like this. Go ahead. It's uh. Holla at your guy. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Holla at my guy, Terrell, Atelier Workspace. That's what it really mean, even though, you know, he trying to be on some bougie shit. But it is what it is. 443-723-1748. Are you talking, good? Bro, nigga? You already know. Are you good? That's what the fuck it is. But no, this is a beautiful fucking space. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's not even only this room. Like, it's... Everything that I've seen on the way up, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Look, my favorite picture, I just got a glimpse of it. It's Cameron. You got Cameron in the room. Ain't that Cam with the pink? That's Killer Cam. Yo, look. I love it. I love it. And I love the fact that it's a black owned space, man. Facts. Friend. Yeah, we got to say that. Black owned fucking space. Yes, Terrell is black. Y'all can't see him, but he's black. And motherfucking beautiful. And that's just what it is. I, I really do appreciate it. I love it. Nah, no problem. I was going to say something about Terrell, but I forgot where I was going. You remember? Probably not. No? Fuck it. Shout I ain't forget. I love it. Um, shout out to the gang. <laughs> Joe here. Remember this? Joseph yeah. D. Friend is here. Julia here. Yeah, Gio yeah. Leo is in the building. Alexander yes, Blanc yes. is here. Yep. My, my, my team is in the building. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Gio to Leo and, oh, and, wow. and, 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 and Joe Friend. Yes. Yes. My oh. team oh, wow. is here. Yo. I, damn. I'm sorry. I, yo. Question. What? What's up? You got a whole podcast going on. I do. Th that's yours. Oh, that's mine. 100%. Which one? What are we talking about? Because, okay, all right, look. The video so, aspect. So a lot of people, okay. So look, this is what I want to get straight. A lot of people think that Reckless Discussions is a podcast. And you know what? The more- It's a show. I think God, yeah. But I think God does these things. And, and I'm telling you, it, it's for a reason. That shit should be a podcast, shouldn't it? Reckless it's Discussions. It's a show. Because it's not. It's a talk show. Okay. However, people who- can't get to sit and watch it, they would still like to listen to mm -hmm. it. So I think I, 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 I should do it. Like the, the fact that people have been calling it, like even iHeart is like, oh, so your other podcast is, I'm like, that's so funny. It's not, I have to, I find myself correcting people, but if I keep having to correct people, maybe it's not even, yeah, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. Maybe it needs to be a fucking podcast. Yeah, or 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 guess what though? Enlighten me. You you can have a, a bigger vision for because because somebody can call something that somebody can misinterpret something for for misunderstanding. Like they, they might not know everybody, right? And, and 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 guess what? We just What's got up? more work to do. 
You feel me? Because if it's a, if it's a show, it's a show. Listen, Own and that. it's gonna be a show, whether it's a podcast right now or just the the, the fucking talk show. Four family members talking, four family members talking, whatever. Listen, that is gonna be a talk show. How is the independent space for you though? Crazy. Because you're so used to getting you haven't getting booked, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you gotta depend on a promoter to book you, maybe. Mm-hmm. You um the the uh what's the podcast with um on the Black Effect? Okay, so that is carefully reckless. That carefully reckless. Me. And what I've done, okay, so I'm on season two of it now. I w- I've been renewed, and they're looking to renew me again. Make some noise for that. Come on, man. Make yes. some fucking noise, man. <laughs> so first season was just uh, really just me speaking on reckless topics but being careful. So that's why I got carefully reckless from it. And the reason why reckless is what it is is because people have always called me that. I've had... Motherfuckers from family members to celebrities just saying, yo, you reckless as shit. Like, my agents, everything. I had a, a manager, and yo, you're too reckless for me. So I'm like, maybe I need to fucking capitalize on that and being who the fuck I am. So that's how I started Carefully Reckless. Um, and second season is more of me helping people out. So now I do Just Fix My Mess, mm-hmm. where I have my fans give me their real-life situations that they need help on. Mm-hmm. Like relationships, family, therapy, counseling, um, just dealing with like children and just how how am I going to move forward with this? And and that's what my purpose is. That's what my calling is to help my motherfucking people to help y'all. And you said something um, earlier in this episode where you were saying like, yo, you were kind of telling me like, yo, like you're just so it's like. People look up to you, so you have to. When we were talking it's almost about like Sean, duty. You're like, to, yo, yeah. it's like, why wouldn't you want to? And that's what I do every week. So it even hit. That's why I got a little bit emotional. I'm like, damn, this nigga's throwing in my face. What I do, not saying it's <laughs> no, nah, it's good. Do your thing. What yo. I do for people, why the fuck can't I even try to attempt to do it Talk for Chris Sean? So that, listen, you know I ain't ever fucking scared to, to admit when somebody right. I ain't never scared to admit when my pride is in the way and me just not wanting to be deemed a hater for trying to mm. just give somebody some fucking, you know, like like for instance, what you think about them? Ask you this shit, nigga, pull me up. The fuck? You gotta pull your you own know. poison though. Oh Jesus! Jesus. Come on, dog. Look what what. All right, look. Give me this. What do you don't ever tell me just grab it, Jay? Look, all right. Um, what do you think about this? This is crazy. If I, I'm just saying, this nigga, yo, just grab it, yo. This is it's, it's big. Yo, just grab it. <laughs> so, no, shaky. All right, look. Um, <laughs> what what do you think about this? Okay, so. Just say it. Where just was say I going? it. Where the fuck was I going? Mm. We was talking about this. What do I think about? Let's get it back. Let's get it back. It's cool. We've been drinking. It's cool. Yeah, this fucking whizzy. What is this? What are we Um, saying? We were talking about the podcast. Uh, I know, but I was going somewhere so special with this shit, yo. Damn. I was really ready to just get comfortable. No, like, I was ready to ask you something so fucking great. Take it time. Oh, my God. We got time. It's cool. Take it time. I know. We was just talking about this shit, though, nigga. You say you never um you not afraid to admit you wrong. Uh, never afraid to be transparent and just be like, yo, I know my pride got in the way. Of maybe my pride does get in the way and shit like that. Damn, it's fucking it's gone. done. Nigga, I Fuck. probably need to hit a blunt. Damn, it's gone. Yeah, we don't got the J. That's what will help it. We can sm- we can't smoke. Can we smoke? This is it. What, what's the name of this? Is workspace in can French? Can we smoke? We can't do this. What is it? Would you say yes? Huh? Did you say yes or no? He's- Oh, that so, mean that mean well, this is Alize. What the fuck is it? I don't want to say Alize. <laughs> Alize. This is Al- yeah. This is Alize <laughs> in French. We can't be fucking hitting no blicky in here. But damn, I, I fucking fuck. It's oh. just we had to join that Gio to Leo. We are set. Where is that? Go get it. Go get it. Where is yo, that? I just had a power question for you, yo. Cause listen, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest with you. This is, I don't, I don't, look, yo, I don't do podcasts. I appreciate you. I don't, look, I'm, I'm just letting you know, I just, I don't do them because, you know, some people, yo, they will get you in there and they try to 
stump you. They'll try to get like the 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 point of interviews nowadays is to get to messy. embarrass motherfuckers. Yeah. To embarrass them. Yo, you really want to know how a motherfucker doing. You really want to know, yo, what's behind this? Like what why why did you do that? What this is this is it's therapeutic mm. for me um because I have so much that I literally go through. Yo, motherfuckers will see me and be like, oh, you got this, you got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I also still don't have a lot mm. of other things. Money, and I didn't even realize this. Yo, money, I thought that's all I needed. Mm. Until you got it. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> now it's like, oh, shit, that unlocked the fact that I need something else. Hold up, wait. No, nah, now I need this. Then I get that, then it's, oh, shit. Now I got money and fame. Okay, cool. Now this shit is uncomfortable. The fuck I'm doing with all this? Okay, cool. What do I do with this money? What do I do? I, I didn't have nobody to teach me investments. I didn't have nobody to teach. It's like, yo, it's still, you know, just being young, urban, from the hood. It's like we get money. Yeah, we all we want is money, but we don't realize what to do with it when we get it. So then we become poor again. Mm. I've been rich you and then I've been right broke. Now. I've been rich and then I've been broke. And I've been, since I became just hilarious, I've been broke at least six times. Mm. But talk about how you can be rich and broke at the same time. How though. I can be, listen, I'm talking about broken in spirit. Mm. Broken and like, you don't even really understand. Like, rich ain't even rich. <sighs> Rich ain't even rich. It's like you 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 got your people that you look up to, you know what I'm saying? But you don't really want to know. It's like you don't really want to do the work that they did to get there. It's like we we hear wealth talk, wealthy talk. We hear jewels being dropped. Yo, I'm going to tell you one person that has dropped so many jewels on me that I still got to call him and ask him, what did he say? Yo, Walo, Walo. Mm. Yo, Wallow don't give a fuck about fame. He just ended up getting it. Yo, if you if you have a purpose and you know your purpose, you can really live in that shit and all that shit will come. When you chase money is when you end up broke. When you chase fame, you end up fucking miserable. You never chase what you see you attract until you it. break it fucking down. Don't, don't chase what you're attracted to. We're attracted to looking good. We're attracted... Like, Come on with this shit. This is nice. It's great. No, that's really nice. Though. Oh, this is great. But this that's like different. You know, yeah, that's, a it's, it's that's a bad example. That's a bad example. You know what I'm Don't saying? Don't lift that shit no, up. No, this is not. This is a perfect example. <laughs> my dumb ass. It's, it, it, listen. Prince, get the fuck my, out of here. No, it's not a black it's bag. It's not a fucking black this bag. This nigga Prince said it's a black. My, you, listen, and I'm going to say this whole Get the fuck out, man. Yo, my dumb ass. And I'm the reason why I'm saying this dumb, I don't care. My dumb ass spent 31000 <sighs> on this bag. Oh, my heart. Listen, you want to see what's in it? Let's, let's literally, let's be honest. Let's just check it out. Listen. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm, 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 listen. And I'm going to tell you. A real Birkin. Bag. Oh. Another motherfucking purse is in this bitch. The real one that I wanted to wear. Now, this is real too, but I'm saying the real one that I really wanted to wear. At, no, I, I said that wrong. This ain't fake, bitch. I know y'all y'all probably pause that one clip and be like, she said the real one. So the, the Hermes ain't, bitch, please. It's every bit of fucking real. It, that shit hurt. It's so real it hurt. Wait, 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 wait. So you teaching me something because I ain't a rich nigga. So... Birkin is Hermes. It's all right. It's all. It's all right. Look, look you teach me, I teach you. Oh shit! Each one. Teach oh, you one. knew that? This shit is Hermes. I'm such a broke nigga. Listen, I ain't, I ain't listen, know that look, shit. Look, look. Now let me tell you how broke I still am. I don't even know if this is French or if the, what is Hermes? Is it French? Is it? Is it? It's Italian. Okay, motherfucker, it's Italian. YSL, what the fuck is that? He said, yeah, what is it though? Is it French or is, 
It's French. Okay, I bet you do know because the work what's workspace in French? <laughs> Alize. Alize. Right. <laughs> so we sitting here in Alize Studios and and which is black owned. And then we got listen, I wouldn't even be able to tell you who made this bag, who is the fucking owner of this shit. I I I wouldn't be why did I get it? Why did I get it? Be, I'm, I'm being very honest and transparent with you, Jay. Like, yo, because I thought that was the thing to do when you started getting money. Mm. I have not one, not two, not, listen, I've Fuck spent no. so much money in Hermes, I need a fucking stock. Wait, she got eight? I have eight Birkins. You might as well make the fucking show Sweetie got. Let me tell you something. You might as well, like, come on, man. You don't, come on. And Eight a, Birkins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm What's being, that, 24? Yep. That's 204. So if we talking about being rich, or you got rich, and then you got broke, I'm still broke in knowledge. You got me, you got me fucked up. Are we being real? Are we being real or are we not? Hey, this is what I was going to say, right? Crazy. We, this, we, we, before we got on here, right? Sort of real life. Uh... So I was just talking about how funny you were, right? Yeah, thank you. And I'm like, man, nah, man. Like, I'm like, is this, I'm like, is the chairs too far apart? Because I want to get personal. I want to be vulnerable. He was like, I don't really think she get vulnerable. Like, all I'd ever seen her do yeah. was laugh. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and just give me a second. Right. Just give me a second. Like, right. yo, it, but that's why this, it, this conversation is so important because a lot of people don't see you in this space, bro. Like, mm -hmm. and it's like, mm -hmm. they need to see that. And the mm -hmm. fact that you can get up here and say, yep. I mean, 240 bands is crazy, though. Like, that's insane, but whatever. You can get up here and say, yo, I didn't know. I'm Listen. broken knowledge. You feel me? Like, yep. And that means something. It's like, like other places, yeah. Damn, So bro. really, what does your money mean? My money didn't start making sense to me until I looked up. My birthday, February 13th, I just turned 30. I looked up and said, I don't own shit. You got eight Birkins, you don't own nothing. But them Birkins. Can you live in this? Can I live in this? Can I crawl in this motherfucker and live in it? Fuck no. Let me go buy some land. That's why I bought my fucking estate. In D.C. getting my sense together. In D.C. Oh, yeah. You got sense D. together. In D.C. That in shit DC. crazy. I'm getting my shit together, bro. I'm like, nah, we need, I need accounts for my son. I need to, to buy just land. Just land. Just, just buy it. Even if ain't nothing on it, nigga, buy it. Buy up that and nigga, buy bottom or buy some shit. And look, if they can gentrify, why the fuck we can't? What the fuck? We talk. This is crazy. I what told y'all. What are we talking This is about? going to get crazy. Didn't I say it? I said it. I said it. It's going to be one of the best ever. Yo, Jess. Thank you. And I wanted to go there, though. Yeah. We got the carefully reckless. Yep. Right? Yep. Our heart. That's right. Black effect. Yep. But we got recklessly. Reckless discussion. Reckless yes, discussion. I'm sorry. Yes. No, you good. Independent. Yep. All you. All me. That's all me. That's what we, I wanted to we, talk me about. Me and my family not under no motherfucking. Nah, we don't have no umbrella. Mm. We are the fucking umbrella. You know talk saying? heavy. Just hilarious. You got London. You got Prince. You got Rome. That's that's black. That's us. <sighs> you know that that's me. Ooh. In a world full of creators, we all trying to make it to the top. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It only means one thing to me. We gonna fucking make it. I already got the blueprint. So look, so look, I'm gonna give you this. Yo. You learn shit from, you know, you know, I got I heart and I, you know, I have carefully records with them. You learn how the fuck they do shit. Come on, man. And then you create. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? And then you be like, all right. So I still got my podcast here, Our Heart. I'm going to renew. Yeah, all right. Love it. Great. This is it's still me. All right. But every step I take over there, I'm going to build reckless and we're going to take it there. Mm. So, so I, I'm just still at the top either way. And if, and if at any moment anything fails there, I know it can't fail here. We wildin'. Excuse me? You wildin'. Uh, it's, we not. It's getting crazy. Yeah. It's getting crazy. No. 
Come on. Nah. This niggas, you see the chair? Listen, this is the shit. This independent shit is different. Because the, 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 the grind is different. Like, yeah, it we is. can go to somewhere. We don't say anything. I mean, I, I want it sometimes, but it's like, yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. Who fucking with us? No. Nobody. Come on, bro. And, and one thing about you, yo, like, consistent. Mm. Consistent. You've never stopped. You even relocated. You like, look, shit. If this shit ain't look, I'm moving. I'm gone. Like, yo, yellow ass. Yo, remember? Yo. Don't get too embarrassing. No, I'm I will. Yo, remember you did the homeless thing? Oh my god. Yo, this that nigga shit was insane. Lived homeless <laughs> for was it 48 hours or yeah, 24 hours? 48. Yo, this nigga did that shit for two days. And crazy. nigga saw him right and was like, yo, Jay, like, why you out here? He was like, <laughs> Just trying to bring like nigga stop trying to be deep it's cold yo go home like homeless niggas was looking at him like yo why are you playing with us right now like you have a home nigga go i'm like yo why would he act homeless for two days around some real homeless niggas i know they want to fuck you up like yo you just gonna come spend a night with us yeah out here like is we having a sleepover with jay hill okay the fuck nigga why we can't go to your shit? Why we can't live like you for two days? Why you had to come and live like us and then go back home? Yo. For your personal gain, for your clout. You getting clout oh, man. off of us. That's a different take. we homeless. That's a different take. Fuck oh, you, JM. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, Yo that's remember? Funny. I remember you did that, this, that. I remember you did that shit. That shit. Oh, my God. Yo. That was the talk of the city for like. Weeks, I was like, "Yo, wow." Yo, it's yo. This is so lit. Just having this this conversation, so nostalgic. Like, it's just it's fire, bro. Yeah, like, this, that's you, real shit. Yo, question: Do you um, do you ever feel like a uh, a bit of like survivor's remorse? Cause we, you came up with some niggas, Jess. Yeah. You came up with some niggas that's still trying. To and yeah. ain't get you. Know what I'm saying, and it's nothing yeah. against them. It's nothing yeah. like all of, but you made it. Yeah. And niggas is still working. Do you ever yeah. feel some type of like, you ever feel guilty sometimes? No. Mm. So, yeah, no. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, not at all. Because I, I thought I was, you know, I was trying to feel uh -huh. like, all right, maybe I should say yeah, but. Say yeah. it. Why well, don't say no names to me? No, I'm saying I was saying like maybe I should say yes, but oh. no. Damn, no, that's, no, no. But that's surprising. Yeah, no. Interesting because it's just you gotta just you can't because if you look back too much, niggas might pull you back. It's like no, wait, let me make it here, and y'all just do what I do. And Damn. if y'all can't catch on, it's like whoa. What about the the ones that helped you up along the way? That's not them in the back. That's them up there. Mm. This is what happened when he gives me a blind. Kind of like uh, Desi, cause he. Which one, my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Desi Alexander. So the ones that you Yo, can listen, see, you. No, for real. Look, Desi is the one who got me on stage. Mm. Desi and Cool Ant. They the two niggas that got me on stage, like to do the shit. I didn't even plan to do stand up. I just I was that. Cool Sundays one I night. I still remember the days and, you know with saying? the notepad. Like, you know what I mean? And that shit happened. But Desi always has helped me structure what it was. Because I used to just be ratchet as shit up there. Like, you ugly as shit. You know what I'm just saying? Like, and bitches, niggas be laughing, but then bitches be wanting to fight. And it's like, that's giving no, me chills. Joking. You was you know in the saying? trenches, bro. Like, real bad. You was really SNS outside. Lounge, fucking, man, man, the Tilted like, Pig? Wow. G songs and the Tilted Pig and shit. You was like, in the trenches that. getting it in, bro. Like, like all that shit. Oh my god. With the notepad, like, nah, niggas ain't laughing at that. Like, yeah. like real live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at you, nigga. And that, that happened. I know, and I I love that shit. And remember, I used to. I'm selling tickets at Mon Dormant, outside of Mon Dormant to my show. Like, just motherfuckers pull up, going in the mall. You want to go to a comedy show? They like, no. I'm like, all right, bitch, fuck you. But you know what I'm saying. And then sometimes. Motherfuckers would be like, yeah, I want to go. And they'll buy the tickets. But, you know, like, I was just, yo, those days is what the fuck made me. That shit was, like, the best time, though. Well, what about? I gained, my, I, I gained my clout manually. 
outside. Out there, every mall, security, East Point, Arundel Mills, Mondarmin, Towson, fucking everywhere. Like, so you don't feel um any type of uh no. What is it called? Survivors. Survivors guilt. Cool. No. So what about the ones that seen your struggle, your grind, right? Mm -hmm. And tried to pull you down along the way. I.e., was it your sister? Absolutely. What about those ones? They seen you grind. Yep. And they try to put a needle in a balloon. Like, yeah. you gotta, do you feel anything about that still? That was a long time ago. But yeah. do that make you angry? Like, is that like, come It makes me angry. It definitely makes me angry because these are people that, like, I've known, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all family. Like, what the fuck? You're my sister. Like, you know, that shit. It just, that shit scars you from wanting to make friends ever and trust motherfuckers and let them in. Because even, because if family can do that shit to you, it's like, mm. the fucking stranger do, or a friend, or, you know. But honestly, some, some people that's not blood are more loyal to you than your fucking family. Like, seriously. We t I told we gonna we, we gotta, we got into the vulnerable shit, we gonna get into mm -hmm. the fun shit. The TV show. Which one? The last one. Nigga. I think which, it was the last one. The, uh, one? the uh, Is the, it funny? Is the it relationship funny? shit. What? Oh. Couples retreat. Yes. What you was just like, bro, I got a daughter. My homie, we're going to make a, a bag together? Or that was a real... Come on. Talk to me, bro. That was a real relationship. Oh, I didn't know. I was just kidding. I know. I know. I'm, just, I'm answering. Know. Sorry, Danny. So certified. My you God. Know. You know I love you. I mean, I just had to ask. Come on, bro. I'm still a, a journalist yeah, at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, no. <laughs> Cause yeah, it, right. it, on TV, I, we didn't know. It didn't look. I mean, yeah, I, yeah I, no, it, it didn't look, but it was. Okay. And it okay. Was, do you it, ever? It was new as shit. Do it you was, ever have a, like, do it, do you do you get people coming to you like pitching fake relationships in the industry? No. Like, you should get in a relationship like that. A bullshit career type five. Oh yeah, it's always suggestions like that. Yeah, but it's like I would never. Who was the last one they suggested? No. They suggested a suggestion. Who was the last one they suggested? <laughs> No. It's a suggestion, Jess. Who do you suggest I date in the industry? Let's do that. Hmm. Jess Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Who could you see me with, like, at the end of the day? Let me see. What's some real shit? Uh, like, if I had to suggest. Damn, and don't And don't do too much, because you know I ain't with none of that. No, no, I ain't gonna do too much. It yeah, gotta be like, somebody, like, I'm trying. thinking it gotta be, like, somebody from, like, down south, that's our vibe, like Memphis or something. No? Oh, I I, I had a nerve. Ooh, I had a nerve. <laughs> so, so who? Mind your business. So, no. Somebody down south, I'm thinking Memphis. I mean, it can't be. No, nah, I ain't going to do that. Mm. Who could you see me with? It was something it ain't about you trying to guess. Who I'm trying to, okay. I mean, I can see you with like, uh. Who? Um, who? Oh, man. Say something. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I want to be say. respectful. You, gonna, right. you don't give a fuck if I say what? It don't, I don't give a fuck if you say it fucking Denzel Washington. Say something. Oh. Uh, no, I think it had to be somebody like a strong dude that's like, in that bag right now. I'm strong thinking, dude. um, yeah. definitely strong dude. Along the lines of like a money bag vibe, I just can't because I don't be listening to the young rap no more. Um, so you just straight went to rapper. I like, just, went just straight went rapper all day. Oh, so I could be a comedian. Um, he be I, not Desi actor, Banks. Like, not Desi. I don't see that. That's like a like a cousin or something. I don't see Desi. Yeah. No. Uh. Actor, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe a Michael B. Jordan, cause he'll let you be you. Shit, he 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 got what a lawyer Harvey. He let her be her. He can let you be you. <laughs> Work all day. Fuck it, Michael B. Jordan. I can see that. He gonna love you for you. That's what he gonna do. <laughs> Not you trying to sell it. <laughs> I mean, he gonna love you for shit. We seen him love Lori Harvey for who the fuck yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are so right. So shit. Who yeah. you, who you if that's who you can see me with, okay. Who but you no. Would you give him a chance? Michael B. Jordan, no. I think he's a nice guy. You don't even know that nigga, bro. 
He looked like he's a nice guy. He, yeah, he looked like a motherfucking nice guy in the movies. And then you meet him, he's like, hey. You're like, uh, no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Never. I can see you with, uh, nah, fuck that. We ain't gonna do that. Fuck it. Yo, just hilarious, yo. Great show. You had a question you wanted to ask me. You ain't remember. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Yo. No, I didn't remember. You got, like, we got you the J and everything. You still ain't and remember. It was so good. No, but you know what? You know why? Because it was a serious question, and I felt like I ain't trying to be serious no more. No, nah, fuck, we it done. Was lit. Yeah. This, this ended so fucking lit. Yeah, fuck that. So I appreciate you. Just hilarious. Eight Birkins. You do the math. Yo. I am. Hey, for the niggas that don't. Yo, whoa. Nah, fuck that. I'm going to ask you a couple questions real quick before we get out of here. <laughs> um, you, you enjoyed the, this, this interview? I did. How, how, on a scale of one to ten? Four. Four? Yep. Shit. Say no, I'm joking. Damn. I'm joking, I'm joking. Dave was like, damn. I remember I was like, like, like oh, fuck, shit. shit. <laughs> I, I, I fucked up my follow-up. No, 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 I wasn't no, gonna be no, mad. no, no. I wasn't going to be mad. That's funny as shit. All right, all right, no, no. Okay. Nine. Nine. Cool. Nine. So, if I, when I post this, can I get like a collab post? No. Fuck. Can you post <laughs> it for like a day or two? Like two days. Two days, two, 48 hours, 24 hours. Fuck it. You know what? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. I'll do if you let me pick the clip that I want. Hell to. yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, like a good 25 minute. I mean, a 25 second clip. I'm just oh, 25 seconds because I want to do like a real. That's fine. Mm-hmm. You oppose it? Yep. <laughs> that's cool. I Shit, going in. I ain't gonna ask you no other favor. That was it. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Ah, is this shit going in? Yo, Jess Hilarious, J Hill Podcast. Hey, it's a fucking rap, man. Great show. Tell them for the people that don't know how to follow you, you got like 20 million followers. Just whatever. Do that shit. Listen, I don't have fucking 20 million. Don't fucking boost me up too much. Like five, five point fucking four. That's a lot, nigga. It's three, but I just boosted it. All right, look, follow me at fucking Jess Hilarious. No, not fucking just letters. Follow me at, at sign Jesslers underscore official, and and that's on Instagram, on Twitter Jess underscore hilarious. Um, I'm not on Snapchat. Facebook is for old people. Um, oh my god, but I love old people. I get canceled. I don't want to get canceled by old people. It's like, come on. You might need a sugar daddy one day. Mm, I've had plenty, but yes. Just hilarious, Jay Hill podcast, yo. I love it. We shook on that. I love you. Yeah, I'm hold you did. to that. We did. Let me pick my fucking clip. You got it. It's a wrap. We out.